Hey everybody, it's Josh here, back with another video, um, another quick little video, just going over um, some Chiefs news, um, particularly injuries. Uh, this time, talking about Kalichi Osemele. So, if you don't know by now, um, Kalichi Osemele, Chiefs starting left guard, um, tore tendons in both of his knees um, in a play against the. O or I almost said Oakland, Las Vegas Raiders um, on Sunday afternoon at home. And um, so uh, it was a non-contact injury whenever he was running. He just, his both of his legs just kind of gave out and that was pretty much it. He got taken out on a cart. But what really frustrates me about it is the play before they called a, what I thought was a really weak penalty call that was a, kind of away from the play anyways on assembly. It was a holding call that wiped out a Tyreek touchdown, which really changed the game. But um, not only does it change the game, but it changes what happens to assembly because if that touchdown stands, assembly is not on the field for that next play. Thus, he doesn't get injured. So that's that's where it really sucks. But um, so now the question is, you know, where did the Chiefs go next? And um, honestly, I mean, there's not a ton of huge free agents still out there. Larry Warford is a big one, but I... I'm fairly certain he opted out, so I would maybe give him a phone call uh, just to see if maybe he could consider coming back. I'm really not even sure if that's allowed or anything like that, but I know it is in college, so um, I'm not sure. But um, some free agents to consider. Um, Cordy Glenn, um, who was with Buffalo and Cincinnati as of recently, he was really solid in Buffalo. I would maybe think about bringing him in um, and maybe moving some players around on the line and stuff. And honestly... Mike Remmers actually filled in very well for Osemele the rest of that game after Osemele got hurt, but I don't want Osem or I don't want Remmers being someone that takes 100% of the snaps now. I think he's supposed to be more of a backup role kind of guy. So um, a couple ideas are one Cordy Glenn, or you start Daniel Kilgore at center, or actually I'll, I'll just go into depth with that one. You can start Daniel Kilgore at center and kick Ryder back out to guard. And so then then you have that situated, but then also you lose the depth of Kilgore. So that's where my other idea is you could either bring in Evan Bayham or um, Justin Britt, um, both local guys who went to Mizzou who are pretty solid, who are still looking for a team. Justin Britt was really solid for the Seahawks for many years. Um, and if you do that, then you can do the same thing. Like I said, you can kick a rider out to guard. Um, I think he's been okay at center. Um Nothing special, though. Not much push from him on the line. But you could kick him back at the guard and hope, um, just hope for the best, and then you'll have a competent center once again. Um, n not that Ryder's completely incapable, but I feel like you can still upgrade there. So that's what really hurts, um, is that you, you just you won't have a ton of depth anymore, but you at least you at least find someone to fill in because losing assembly really sucks because here's the thing while he was getting he, he was accumulating a lot of penalties as of recently man his run blocking was really fun to watch he was laying down the wood for Clyde so that's that's where it's really gonna suck but you still got Remmers you still got Kilgore um you hope to bring Rankin back eventually I, I believe he's still on IR right now um and then, I miss, oh yeah, Yasir Durant, who is also on this team, um, could potentially work his way into the rotation now. So we'll just have to see. Um, I don't expect the Chiefs to make a free agent pickup. They typically don't when these kind of things happen. Uh, Andy Reid is um, known for um, sticking with his guys that he has a lot. So I'm not really sure what we'll see from them. Um, but if they are going to make a move, I would expect it within the next couple days or so. So um, just look out for that to see if anything happens. Um, but if not, um, I would definitely probably expect some changes in practice and who they're putting where and maybe some call-ups from the practice squad. I don't know. We'll see. Um, overall, Assembly's injury hurts, but, and I really feel bad for the guy because he seemed to have found a home here. Um, but... I think this is an injury the Chiefs can survive for sure. I mean, you can't use uh, the excuse that you lost Osemele for the next, what, uh, 12 games? Uh, 12, 11, 12 games? Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's Those are just kind of my thoughts on the injury and the situation overall. So um, thanks for tuning in today, and I will see you guys later. Peace.